so basically I've got an employment issue. So I was basically kind of like not employed and not self-employed. I was basically a worker for a company. And what happened was in my first week, I unfortunately caused some water damage to a property um, because I was a tradesman. Everything was fine. Everything was sorted out from the company company side. And what happened was that the kind of like um, the working relationship was not working out. And basically, they kind of released me and kind of not uh, last month. And I was waiting for... Sorry, they, they, they kind, kind of what you, Faisal? I didn't quite hear that. <laughs> they kind of... I had a, like a meeting in the office last month, and uh, it was quite uh, odd what was said to me. I don't really want to go into the details, but um, I had a company car. I gave the company car back, the tools back. I went home. I was like, this doesn't seem to be right. Uh, the following week... Um, I was asking them for my wages, and they weren't responding to me. And then sorry, had, was, had they fired you at this point? I'm not quite clear. They ha- well, they didn't because he wanted me to contact him back uh, only via email, which was very suspicious. So via con- via phone, which was very suspicious. So they stopped and, giving uh, you work, and they wanted the car back, but they hadn't fired you. Is is am I understanding yeah, that correctly? Yeah, yeah. But they did that in the, the opposite way. So they called me in the office. They basically asked me to come in. Um, he didn't tell me exactly what was going on. They said that they wanted the company car keys back and the phone back for some upgrades, which was a lie, which I knew about. I just had a very big suspicion. Okay. Asked me some questions. I went home. Um, they said that, oh, you know, we'll talk about our working relationship later on. I, I went home, stayed for a few days. Payday hit on the 30th, which is on the Monday. And I didn't get my money. And I was like, can I, can I have my wages? And then, he got, he, then he was talking to me about the damage that happened to the property. And then he goes, we're going to have to sort out how that's going to be paid by you right. and how we're going to be working together. Let me ask and you a few that, questions, Faisal. Mm-hmm. Uh, first of yes. all, you started by saying you were a worker, not an employee. That's right, yes. Okay. Now, do you have insurance? To cover no i don't have public liability insurance and i knew that i didn't have to have it at the time because i wasn't self-employed with a company so i assumed at the time that as i was a worker and i was because i had the company car and tools and i was promoting their business yeah what makes I you was, think you were a worker as opposed to an employee because i signed a contract and it says that oh that's, and he almost, acknowledged that's that. almost certainly nonsense um you're almost certainly an employee but let, let's not worry about that yeah. Uh, the position is that they're entitled to dismiss you. And let's face it, they have dismissed you. Even if they haven't used the yes. word, we all know they've dismissed you. Yeah. Um, they're entitled to do that if you are an employee and working for less than two weeks. If you've worked for more than a month, you're entitled to a week's notice. Mm-hmm. And, of course, you're entitled to your back wages. However, uh, they, if there's a proper contract in place that says this, will be entitled to set off the cost of any damages that you've caused them through carelessness or negligence. Yeah. Now, they are saying that they had to pay out money because of the damage you caused. Mm. You said you caused damage, but it didn't cost anything. Who's right? Uh, it, I'm not saying it didn't cost anything because it probably did cost the company something. Right. Um, but what I'm saying is, is that I should have been covered by their company's insurance if that no happened. that it wouldn't work uh, insurance wouldn't cover that insurance doesn't cover the negligence of employees that just cost the company some more money otherwise no company would ever lose money every company would either make mm-hmm. a load of money or get the insurance policy to pay out mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. the i'm afraid if you did cost them money most employers wouldn't bother suing you for it or setting it off against mm-hmm. salary but legally they're entitled to they, they mm-hmm. probably think they hired someone who wasn't very good, cost them money. Why should we now pay him money as well? Um, it's a harsh approach to take. As I say, most employers would be more forgiving, but legally they are allowed to set off what you cost them against your salary. Now, I'm mm-hmm. assuming here, Faisal, that the contract said they can do that. No, if, it doesn't say that. Are you sure? Because if you signed I'm an employment, sure. if you signed a well-drafted contract, and it sounds like if they were calling you a worker, it was drafted to protect them. I would expect it to have that clause in. The clause, the the clause that I've read, because I have raised this with ACAS, and they do have that, and the clause says that the company uh, may may um, uh, kind of like um, uh, have, sorry. 
they may um, deduct something, some some um, some some money from your wages. It doesn't specifically say anything else but that. Yeah, but that's that's going to be good enough. It's going to specify any any loss caused by your negligence that they may deduct it, and if they may deduct it, they're allowed to. Uh, Fa- Faisal, I'm sorry. I think they're legally in the right here, even if their position is a bit harsh. I would just try to speak to them, negotiate something. If you can't issue a claim, but I, th- I think you'll lose it, Faisal. Hmm. I would, I would lose the fact that um, they are allowed to, to, to withhold my money, basically, and to say that um, because I caused damage three months ago. Well, look, I'm, I'm going to be I'm going to be super blunt here. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. You screwed up. Why should they yeah. have to pay for it? Mm. Yeah.